So they, they make reproduction. Do you have one in your collection? No. Then you need one. Oh yeah. Then you make me a fair <laughs> offer on it and it's yours. Whatever you think, you are the expert, my friend. <laughs> I know you told me you had 120 bucks in it. I can't even come no, close no, no, to that. It. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean? I'll probably take uh, I'll probably take half of that, 50, 60. I, I'm sure, th and they look clean. A lot of them are in good yeah. condition. So I got a feeling that probably you have few in here that work pretty penny. But I'm not your guy for okay. that. Okay. Hey guys, Peter over here. So I got these two packages today, and they're both addressed to Peter and friends. So both of these packages came from Reverb.com. So if that's what I'm thinking, uh, Reverb, probably a lot of you guys know, is a website that you can sell a bunch of musical instruments, anything that got to do with music, you know, like amplifiers and things of that nature. Yeah, because both packages are from Reverb, so I'm kinda excited to see what these guys sent. The first one has a note. It says, this seems like a cabin hat. Oh, it's got a Reverb logo on it. That's exactly what he likes to wear because, well, first of all, he's a drummer. So that's right up his alley and he likes Trocker's head. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got some Reverb swag over here. Well, Kevin likes hats. He likes hats. I like beanies like that. That's very cool. Oh, we got a t-shirt here too. Look at that. You know Kevin is gonna Kevin be all over. Be all over He's gonna be all over. This is too big for them, for him. This is this is me. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I think he would still wear it though. That's definitely his style. All right, we got a card over here. And a phone call. And of course a phone call. Oh, my neon sign guy is calling me. I gotta grab that. Sorry guys. So it says, Dear Peter and friends, wishing you all well from Chicago. We love your videos and plan to stop in soon. Warmly. Gabe and Olivia. Well, awesome guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate all this swag. I'm really excited to see what's in this big bag. I mean, a big box. Hey, Ryan, I was just talking about it that we need a new book for writing stuff. Yeah. This is perfect. It almost looks like the good. first book we had. Yeah, I know. I know. The red one. So that's awesome. Some pens. We always can use pens. Coffee? I had no idea Reverb makes coffee. Overdrive and Boost? <laughs> well, I'll be grinding that coffee. Because I'm a coffee guy and Kevin is too, so he's going to be all over it. Alright, so let's, let's put this some of this stuff back here. Kevin's going to be all over this yeah, stuff he's, for he's sure. Be, his mind's going to be blown. So, I might need your help here with this. Oh, these are two boxes together, like glued together. That's what it is. So, gotta cut it all the way around, I guess, when I get these. I believe if I put it there. I wonder. We'll... I wonder. Hold on, let me slice it through here. Oh, they're. they're uh, oh, they're boxes. In the... No, it's for packing. Ah, I see. That's river boxes. For guitars that's awesome you know and I yeah. can put them together however I want they slide probably into each other that's awesome because I always go hunting to Guitar Center to yeah. get their boxes when they get guitars they throw them in a dumpster yeah. I get them so this is fantastic goes back to those dumpster diving videos cause... so this is this is perfect thank you guys so much I really appreciate it and thanks for all the swag love it and uh, for those of you who sell on eBay and you sell vintage vintage musical instruments or amplifiers, things of that nature, Reverb is the site to definitely go because they're specifically target people who are into that stuff. So once again, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. with the cards if uh -huh. you 
if you think certain card is in really, really nice, good condition, right? Uh -huh. Clean, the corners are not busted. Um, and you know that it has some value because how rare the card is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then you would send it in to these companies like oh. PSA or CGC. And they'll, PCG, like that type of stuff? And, and they all will grade it and they'll give a number, you know, eight and a half, nine, okay, yeah, ten. Nine, and the yeah. higher that comes in, the more money it's worth. So, um, unfortunately, I don't buy ungraded cards. It's just too many unknowns for me. It is, or it would be like, so something like this would have a grade to it, is what you're saying. Right, so if, if you think, what do you think this card is worth right now as it sits? Uh, I, I do have a TCG app on my phone that okay. I scan each card onto. Mm -hmm. And would that tell me the grade of the card too? No, they would. That would not tell you the grade. Okay. No. So I have no clue. Really on my, these are my daughter's cards. Yeah. I'm not your guy for these. You got to find a shop that strictly okay. deals with the. You know, right, and, and I'm sure you right, have some. Right in another exerg. I'll try in there. Yeah. I, I'm sure, and they look clean. A lot of them are in good yeah. condition. So I got a feeling that probably you have few in here that work pretty penny. But I'm not your guy for okay. that. Okay. So. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, oh, and also my daughter, she's all better now. Oh, that's they, nice. They, they cleared her cancer. That's awesome. I don't know how, how they did it, but it's a miracle. That's a miracle. Yes, yeah, it is. So, well, I'm so happy for you then. Yeah, so we're buying her some stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, that's good. That's I will good. be back tomorrow. I bought money on my Visa card. I want to get one of those systems. Okay, okay. So I shall be back. Sounds good. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Good luck what with that. Did that lightsaber sell yet? I just sold it yesterday. Yay! Yeah, just sold it yesterday. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah. I got another one. <laughs> um, have you tried that card shop down the road? Uh, Affinity, Ga Affinity uh, Gaming. Affinity yeah, Gaming? Yeah, yeah, next Yeah, to I just came from them. Yeah, yeah. and? Yeah, he, he took a few of them. He did? Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to try them. Someone in Lake Zurich. That's where I had now. Okay, good luck. All right, thanks, buddy. See ya. See ya tomorrow. Okay, so, the best quarterback in history of football. <laughs> Why did you buy this? I didn't. It was still on him with the bundle. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. No, he was... Uh, he had a good show on MTV or whatever it was. Now, this is a good player right here. So, these are just... All of these jerseys I just brought back from home because I washed them. Ryan bought them a couple days ago and uh, they cleaned up pretty good. They did. Yeah, they did. I mean, there was some there where I was in a pass on initially because I didn't think they were going to come clean. Forte. Now this is cool, really cool jersey from uh, Toes, number 19. Look at that. I never seen, you ever seen like a yeah. skeleton like that? We've face? had it before. Remember the green one? I think we had the green one um, that had the skeleton face on or whatever. And of course we got a couple of uh, 88s, Patrick Kane. Pretty cool. These are both Canadians, I think. Yeah, this one is a hoodie. So you're seeing this one's just going over there. This is old time hockey. Not familiar. Old time hockey. Not familiar with that brand, but it's a nice hoodie. These are huge sizes. These are all like two XLs, three XLs. Yeah. They're big. Who's calling? And a size 52, which I think is also in that range. Marshall. Hello. He only hockey. played a couple of years with the Bears. Good receiver. I like them. Uh, if you don't mind, give them like a minute. I'll put you on hold. Another Patrick Kane. Yeah, these are good. What are these? Oh, these are uh, snow pants? I think I like motocross. Oh, you motocross. Like their bike or, you know. Uh, so you said this one just goes in that can? Yeah. Nobody's going to buy Cutler. You go, you go through. Goodwill and Cutler is hanging for three ninety nine. Nobody wants it. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we can just put like free even on it. Maybe somebody will take it. Don't throw it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I just showed you guys this jersey for Blackhawks with the skull on it, and I was like really stoked and cool. Part of this whole thing that uh, Ryan bought a couple days ago was also this one, and this one I think is hundred percent fake. We both determined that. Um, but he kind of made a bundle deal with you, right? Like, just yeah, take it all. Yeah, toward the end, the ones I was not going to buy, he's like, hey, just give me, you know, an extra point box. So, you know, so, at the first glance, it looks good. But then you start, if you have both of these next to each other, 
immediately the material is not even the same class. Yeah. Look how much nicer and oh, like uh, just crisp and nice and tight, you know, waving and everything but about it. But even like look at how that wrinkle in the material is like, yeah. they, you know. So anything, anything on this, these patches are like put on, they barely holding on. When you're gonna have Reebok, it's gonna be embroidered right on it, like on this one, on the back. Let me flip this around, see how, how it's embroidered right on the jersey. And then they got a little patch again on this one. Yeah. Look at the stitching between the letters here on a cane. Just everything about this all the way or, around. Or the patch on the front here, like yeah. peeling This off. is a patch on the front. It's completely like glued on, not even stitched on, and it's peeling off. Uh, the Reebok that it says here, and same thing on here, this one is falling off too. This is how it's gonna look on a legit one. They do their logo like that, RBK, and this is nicely stitched on on both sides, so it won't fall off. Yeah, they, they do install this strap underneath, like you would have on a legit ones. Look how this is stitched all the way around, so it's nice and solid, so it won't come off. <laughs> look at this, they cut it with scissors. And it's just horrible job. Fakey, fakey, fakey. It's got the cassettes already. It's like a battery. Oh, that's like even original cassette for mm -hmm. it too. Yeah. Okay, I got your wrong side. Why would they say <laughs> that? So it only goes one way? Correct. Is there actual power button or you just go um, for it when you open? So I, I think there's no actual Slide it out, button. right? Yeah, slide it out and then... Just play? Just Nothing play. else? Okay. <laughs> So I think the one that I had was actually a little bit different. Wait a minute, I pressed the one. Oh, these are answers? Yes. Okay, okay. Two choices. One, the dog, or two, the moth. Please answer one or two now. No, it's, not the last one. Okay. it's crazy how it works though. Dog is a very, it is. very yeah. 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 I had one of those when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a reason obviously that it only goes that way because it's one side just probably pre recorded, Correct. right? Correct. You may tickle my buttons. One, two, three, or four. Now. That's pretty cool. I mean, what, what are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this unit? Um, I, I quickly saw what they were going. They're yeah. kind of all over the place. Um, I see it had ability to be just besides the batteries, also power supply. Um, what are you thinking? Um, I know you told me you had 120 bucks in it. Mm -hmm. I can't even come no, close no, no, to that. It. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean? I'll probably take. Uh, I'll probably take half of that. 50, 60. Um, like I said, I know like each tape, I had to pay extra like 20 dollars per tape. But I mean, I like it. It's cool, but no paperwork, no original box. Uh, I I really wouldn't want to be in it more than like 50. Huh? That's yeah. tops. Okay, that's fine. I'll be um, yeah, I'll be easy with you. That works. That works. Awesome. Absolutely. Right. Well, I'll add it to the list. Perfect. So that's yours. 120, 40, 60, 75. Perfect. 175. Appreciate right. it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yep. And I'm going to ask you really quick. Yeah. When you brought this in, mm -hmm. I had my camera rolling yep. for this because it's a cool piece. Yeah, I like to show off things like that. Yeah. So can I use that footage of on course. my channel? Yep. I'm a awesome. big fan of the channel. I've seen I appreciate it, before, it so. man. That's yep. very cool. You guys are awesome. awesome. <laughs> Take Thank care. You. So we picked this up the other day. It's such a cool piece of equipment. I wonder if you guys know what it is. It makes cool noise, almost like a plane. Like a little car you would start, you know? Yeah. It's almost like pull starting on a lawnmower. Or so it's perfect for you, Ryan. It's cordless. You don't never have to charge it. It's yeah. very portable. Let me you try it. Let me see if it actually cuts. So it's a shaver made in France. It sounds like it's cutting. We got a little break there. Yeah, it's got a little stop thing. So it's got, I looked at it, it's got like three blades. 
I don't know if it cut it. It sounded like it did. You know, it's got three blades going again, so I don't know how hard you have to press. Yeah. Or or maybe I just don't have enough there to cut. Exactly. Or no, actually, <laughs> but there, I, there is some no, peach you, fuzz there, so. You did cut it off a little bit. You did, so. This is maybe a Christmas gift for you. You can just take it on the road, you know. It's kind <laughs> of a pain in the butt, though. <laughs> Pull it but each time, but. How good is the spring on this that it keeps going and going? So yeah. Made in France, probably, I'm assuming this is probably. 60s 50s 60s <laughs> very cool never had one before maybe that's for EQ, EQ to go on and off you know for the equalizer to kick in yeah this is the and that's the only oh, thing that so what was weird about this is uh, just, just got to tighten this maybe a little bit of a better connection so when i jiggled it that's what it was hard yeah so maybe now it's jack a little loose yeah so maybe it'd be better now. Still nothing now. Let's try the low. Let's see. So low immediately. So something in that input. Yeah, probably or put it in it now a couple of times in the high game. Let's probably just get a little shrunk. Okay. Okay. Is there two different volumes on it? So all the levelers, levelers are up. Everything is up. Unless you plug it in this, no, it's really no. Cool. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm gonna say no, and I tell you why. The guy who works for me on this, he charges me like 60 bucks an hour. You know what I mean? So if I give you 60 and I'll give him 60, there's no money to be made on this end for me. You know what I mean? To go through some of this stuff. I thought it was like a minor stuff, you know, but maybe just spraying a little bit, but. Something wrong with that plug. All right. So I'm sorry, my friend. Turn. No, it's fine. So let's get out of I can tell you the number. Where's my calculator? Here, just there use your tablet there. My trusty calculator from Sir Savers for $4.99. Oh, that's what we're paid. <laughs> it's been here for at least 10 years. I guess it was it paid off. All right, so uh, that's the best. You picked the best jersey out of the old jerseys we got here. Oh, that's what I thought too. All right, we got 50, 20, 10. What are you gonna do with all these knives? Uh, I'm gonna put them in my collection. You would be surprised how many knives I have. I know you got a lot, you yeah, told me. I, I mean, do. you bought a I, lot from me. I think me. I have probably, I don't know, 400, somewhere in there. Really? But I always thought you were going for the, like the little bit higher end stuff, but... I, I mean, I have some cases that have, you know, older case knives, and I mean, just a, a pretty good variety of knives. You, 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 want, a, you want a nice case stuff. for knives yeah. that you can, yeah. if you have few nice ones you can put in there, lock it up, it's... Okay. You want one? Yeah. I'll bring you one. That would be awesome. So... Um, Is that included in the sale? Well, I got 173 bucks. I got 173 okay. bucks. What All are you right. thinking? Uh, 150 cash. Nice fake. That's a good fake, yeah. <laughs> it would uh, hurt you still. I'm okay with 150. Now the case that I'm gonna bring out is it a key locked one, something like that, or no? So it has two latches, but the keys are missing. I think. Okay. So um, that's alright. Ow! You're scratching. So this is the case. Okay. And actually some of the knives that you're getting here, yep. I got this from from that guy oh, so too. He had a there. bigger case, but it cracked and broke on a corner too, so I just tossed it in the garbage. I, I have three of these exact cases. Oh actually. yeah, yep. so the key, it's one of it's those not, simple keys, but it's missing. It's not a big deal. And he did have some of these knives in here. Like this one looks like it would fit right in there. Mm. No, so, this is, I know which one that is. And That's a pair of Okay, Joe, Joe is already eyeballing what you got here. <laughs> I, know, so, right? I seen the video. And <laughs> <laughs> so from the video, there's a couple that I bought that you didn't see in the video and I'll show you in a second that came in Ooh, that you okay. might like. So yeah, I'm cool with, with buck 50 okay. and I'll throw this in for you too. So Okay, okay? I appreciate you. Awesome. Pete, just so you know, she pooped. No way. Yeah. It's on the oh, man. Oh, well, at, at least it's on the ground, <laughs> not on me. Is it on me? Uh, I think it might have missed you this time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really, Rube? Really? She, really? She loves you. 
Hey guys, it's Otto here. Can I get a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm? It will really, really help us out. That's a Mark One, right? Yeah, it's a Mark One Navy. The Navy knife. And then the Mark Two came like a, it was like a K bar. But when you look, you know, for the so Navy. So it's a, knife, one solid handle, right? Yeah. This is one solid handle. Most of your Navy knives were were oh. made by Remington, and they, they were yeah. the, the P. R, it was R for Remington. So I see they come like with a leather scabbard, right? Some did, came with the leather scabbard, others But some of them with... with they had the fiberglass. Fiberglass, fiber okay. Most of these were with the leather scabbard, which figure, you know, World War II as old as, you know, 75 year old scabbard. Leather. Might not have... Yeah, I seen that tote and I thought, what, another box of knives? No. <laughs> And so you tell me, why is it, for example, this one here, World War II, Mark I, right? Yeah. U.S. Navy, 50 bucks with the scabbard, and the one right below it is for 220. Yeah, 220. What's, with... What, what, what they, makes it, like this is colonial here, and this one is also colonial. I don't understand. Yeah. Why would be such a big spread between both of these? I haven't done enough research to see how rare they are. They, I think they're harder to find than the Remington ones, the R35s with the leather handle. Yeah, this is the same solid handle all the way oh, through. That prototype. Ah. They, they think it's prototype. Yeah, the grip's a little different. Look at how it's narrowed. It's right yeah, and, and this, this yeah, end the, piece the, looks different. The pommel. The yeah. pommel's the same as a Remington Navy knife. So maybe that's why this one sold for 220. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that's what it is because the pommel is styled right there. Back it up. Is that on? One up one that more. one? No, up one more. Where is it? Yeah, there's the R. Is that the R35? Yeah, but that's the one that it's uh, staggered, right, with the leather pieces inside, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got the different leather stack and it has the red right. dividers in there. I think these are a little hard to find. And the ones I've seen are not as good a shape as this. It's been sharpened so much that the blades... Wish it had a scabbard though. Of course then this you'd get more money for it if it had the scabbard. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you are the expert in these. No, I, I, no I, I think you are the guy who knows the most about these bayonets. I know. You, that's your specialty. Yeah, mostly bayonets. But uh, I, I do like the K-bars and I have a few Navy knives. Colonial Mark One, but doesn't say anything on it. It says pro, Prov. What is this? R, R L. I don't know what that stands Rhode for. Rhode Island. Is there a, is there a close up? Oh, there's a USN, but that doesn't, yeah. that don't look. That, there that's it is. Like, that could be a reproduction. Colonial P R O V and then R dot I. Rhode Island. I don't know. Yeah, but it's got. It's got different handle, you know, looks a little bit different. Yeah, but if you look at, where's it, the USN ones, the picture of that. Yeah. See how it's deeper? Much deeper. This is very are, light and not, very spread. Yeah. So this is older probably. This is an older one. This is, I wouldn't say this is a reproduction, but this one's totally different too. Because the way the USN is stamped on it. See, well, they, they make reproduction. You have one in your collection? No. Then you need one. Oh yeah. Then you make me a fair <laughs> offer on it and it's yours. Whatever you think, you are the expert, my friend. I always work with you, you know that. What do you think it's worth? Would you do 60? No, answer my question. What do you think it's worth? I know it has no sheet. <laughs> with the sheet, I, I, I think it would be like 120 with the sheet. Yeah. But that would be the fiberglass one. Okay. Bit. Without it, you know, what do you think it's worth now? <laughs> Joe, give me five more dollars, 65 and it's yours. Oh, you'll do it for 65? 65. All right, sounds, sounds good to you me. You got a deal. That was simple. <laughs> yeah. So I learn every time you come in, every time you show me things, I learn every single time. Well, maybe a little bit, especially with the bayonets. So I appreciate you, my friend. Sure. So I bought the Snap-on toolbox. That's what you guys think, that it's a Snap-on toolbox. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. and it. It makes sounds. Sounds like a slot machine, right? <laughs> that you yeah. just turn on. But when you open this thing, look at this. 
it's a snap-on electronic dartboard and you can program you know how many games you want to play or how many players the only thing is that it came with the set of these snap-on branded darts and the black one one black one is missing but I guess that you can easily replace this you know it doesn't yeah. have to be branded so this is so cool I was blown away how much this thing cost you like a thousand dollars like yeah. you know so we went kind of back and forth back and forth on this I paid up this is obviously a used one in great condition I'm asking four hundred twenty five dollars will I get that I don't know but there's a lot of snap-on guys that like this kind of stuff you know big issue is displaying this though well yeah you gotta you gotta put it like right into two by fours even those screws in the back they're designed to be like 16 inches on center yeah so you put it on two by fours you know? one we have no wall space and two it's like yeah anywhere we can hang this it's you but know it's so cool though let's play the game all right and there's a power button on the side very cool piece never had something like this before I'm sorry baby I haven't brushed you here for a while so I know it might hurt look at you yeah I know you like it I know you like it yeah yeah that's yours uh-huh see come on up up good girl good girl she looks like a little lion look at her look at her my little lion yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You like it. Look at it. I got hair everywhere from you. Okay. Let's flip you around. Yeah. You usually don't let me do your belly. <laughs> you usually don't let me do your belly. You're so good today. Yeah. You're gonna fall. <laughs> You're gonna fall. Oh, you're a good girl today. Look at you. Yeah. Guys, she's so she's so fluffy. It's unreal. I mean, all this it's all like fluff. She could probably she could probably lose few pounds though. All the treats that you're sending. She's felt <laughs> fed very well in here. Yeah. All right, guys, postcard time. 591, 592, 593, 594, 595, 596, 597, 598, 599, and a big 600. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.